Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are out after perching today's video. We're going to be using the new BFS setup that I picked up from AliExpress. That is the Kuying Teton 0.3 to 3 gram rod with the Toyonura Genius uh, BFS reel with some 9 pound braid from AliExpress as well. So I haven't caught a fish on this rod yet. And um, we're down at one of the perch spots. We're going to see if we can pick up a few perch. Hopefully we'll christen the rod today and not get too many backlashes or problems with the reel. So we have Evan with us in the background. We're, uh, we're going to be trying to rescue the few perch anyway. We have the drop shot kit with us as well. I um, just brought the drop shot rod as well. We're going to mess around with that. Just using a, a drop shot minnow and a 10 gram lead. So we have two options. We'll see what they want. We'll do our best to catch a few fish. So enjoy today's video. Okay, so this is the setup I'm starting off with. That's the BFS setup. But for the lure, I have a three gram cheb weight uh, with a supercontinent minnow from AliExpress on a size two, I think, hook. Clipped on with a little clip to about two foot of six pound fluorocarbon down to my braid. I'm gonna drop it into the canal now. Fingers crossed there's a fish down there and uh, we'll see what we can find. So stay tuned. So let's try out here. Here's the bottom. I'm gonna let that hit the bottom. This is the bottom there now. So I'm just gonna give it one reel, keep it down on the bottom. Feel for any bites. Just keep turning it back towards us. Just feeling for any bites. Is fish? Yes. First fish. Oh boy. First fish on the BFS. He's no monster. <laughs> oh, come back. There we go. First fish on the BFS rod. So let's get him unhooked. There is the supercontinent minnow straight out of his mouth. One you small guy. See you later, buddy. Back into the water he goes. First fish for the BFS setup. And he took the supercontinent minnow on the 3 gram cheb weight right on the bottom. So we'll see if we can get another one. bottom there's the bottom there now give it one reel feel for more bites give it another reel there's a bite yeah fish on come on it's a better one than the last time slightly oh the BFS setup is ripping up There is the second perch of the day. There is the supercontinent minnow inside in his mouth. So let's get him unhooked. He really wanted that. Really wanted that. Come on. There we go. That's him unhooked, guys. That's a, a nicer little perch. They're getting bigger. Drop him back. And he took. Again, the supercontinent minnow. That's all it is there. On the Cheb rig. Right in the middle of the lock. So we'll see if we can get a bigger one. And so let's get this back out. Gonna let that spool fall down to the bottom. That's the bottom there now. So I'm just gonna give it one turn. Keep my finger on the line for a bite. Yeah, there's a fish again. <laughs> this is so much fun. Three casts, three fish. 
it's working anyway. Can't fault that at all. There he is, right on the outside of the lip. He wanted minnow for breakfast. Lovely little perch. Chebwig is doing the trick, so we'll get him back. It's working anyway, can't complain. Super, super fun on this BFS setup. So we'll see if we can get a bigger one. And we're gonna let that hit the bottom. Let the spool until it goes slack. There's the bottom there. So I'm just gonna work it way back to me. Oh, there's a fish. He took it on the drop. Fish on. Oh, that's the best one so far. Come on. Oh, this is a chunky perch. Definitely the best one so far. We'll get one hooked. Now, so guys, we've had four perch so far. This little chunky guy is the best one so far. He's no monster, but he's the biggest one we've caught in the BFS rod this morning. It's doing the trick, it's really fun to use. So we'll get him back. I'll show you what lure he took. So he took the supercontinent minnow in a 50 millimeter, so it's a five centimeter lure on a Cheb rig. Just fished hard on the bottom. I'm letting it, the lure hit the bottom and giving the reel one crank just to bring it up a small bit and then just letting it sink the whole way back down just working right on the bottom like that the whole way back in and that's where the perch are that lad actually took it on the drop so on the way down but um, yeah good fun so far the perch are getting a small bit bigger a little bit fatter so hopefully we'll get one a little bit bigger today I'll try one there now a bit further up we're always moving up Keeping on the move. There's the bottom there now. Give it one turn of the reel. fish yeah little gentle nibble oh this is actually a nice one again come on nice little perch chubby one they're getting bigger now guys they are slowly getting a small bit bigger this is a little bit of a chunk he's getting a bit better condition onto him as you can see, he's got a thicker body, but he's still only a small perch, let's be real. But it's really good fun on the BFS setup. <sighs> Having really good fun on it. So we'll get this guy released. I'll get him unhooked. He took the minnow again from Supercontinent. There it is there, out of his mouth. Oh. Drop him back in and see if we can find some more. Fish. Just nibble that. Now, that's perch number five for the BFS. Five or six, we'll say five. All the same kind of size, only little small guys. But if they're there, there might be a bigger one. So we'll get her back. See if we can get another one.
Sure. Yeah. Be sure. Oh. First perch in a good while now. Haven't had a bite in a while. That's the way it goes when you're fishing from. Lovely fish. Yeah, baby. We're we'll getting one hooked. There we go. Off he goes. Good stuff. Minnie was doing the trick. I haven't had to change lure all morning. Same lure. I think it was like one packet of these was like a euro and you get like 20 of them in a packet so can't complain Fish on. That was a good bite. That's a nice little perch. Yes. <laughs> good stuff. That was a lovely bite. He's one of the longest ones today now. Lovely fish. Very silver. Orange fins on the bottom. Lower in the corner of his mouth. Perfect. So easy to unhook them. Look at that for a little beauty. Absolutely stunning fish. Big mouths. Cool fins. That's their defense. Let's them turn fast in the water. Orange fins, so nice. We're getting back in the water. See you later, buddy. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of talking through the tackle I'm using just to break up the video and show you exactly what I have on the line. So for the leader, for the Cheb rig, I'm using about 50 centimeters to 60 centimeters of Maxima 6 pound fluorocarbon. Now, Maxima 6 pound fluorocarbon, it's quite a thick diameter for fluorocarbon. It's 0.22 for a 6 pound line. In all reality, this line is more like 9 to 10 pound. It's quite strong for the thickness rating of it. Um, but you, could, you probably could use a thinner fluorocarbon if you're doing this sort of fishing. You could go down to 0 0.16 or 0 0.15. This is just a bit of backup in case you hook a pike. Um, it gives you a better chance of landing them. Um, 0 0.22 is very strong. Um, but if you're only going to be fishing for perch, you could probably go down to like 0 0.15 uh, fluorocarbon. But this does the trick, you know, you get a spool of that and it lasts you, lasts you all year. Um, the braid that I have on this rod, it's from AliExpress and it came from Kingdom. It comes in a little box like that. So that is 150 meters. Um, nine pound braid, 0 0.07. Um, I think it was three or four euro. So, you know, you're grand. It's a good little line. You can see it works. It does the trick. Um, for the lure, I'm using Supercontinent minnows. They come in a packet like that. Um, they are, how so, what size are they? I think they're five centimeters, so 50 millimeters. Um, yeah, they do the trick. They are more than adequate to catch a few perch. And for the hooks, uh, I don't have the hooks with me. Um, I'm just using little size two hooks um, on the Cheb rig, three gram Cheb rig. I'll show you there. That's the way I have it set up. I have a little snap, egg lock snap, to stop the Cheb from sliding up the line. The Cheb rig is there. See, the minnow is just treaded up on it. I'm fishing on my Kuying Teton rod. That's it there. It's five foot ten, 0 0.3 to three gram rod. Lovely little rod, really fun. Um, and the reel is the Soyanura Genius. It's one of the newer ones for BFS fishing. Um, there's the pink braid. It's really easy to see the bite detection on the pink braid. Um, it really helps with picking out the bites, especially when you have a bit of wind there. The second you see that line tearing off a small bit, just set the hooks, just take a chance, you know, it's more than likely a fish. And yeah, the tactics I'm using, um, we're fishing in between two locks and a canal. So it's just a prime perch spot. Um, no matter what time of year, you'll always catch perch in these sort of spots. Um, we're catching loads of perch, but they're only between 20 to 30 centimeters. Uh, little small fat perch. 
Um, no big perch, uh, nothing above 30 centimeters. Um, fingers crossed we meet one, but I'm not too enthusiastic about it. I'd, be, I'd say we'll probably be catching the small lads all day, just going by what we've hooked so far. But I'm just casting out, letting the chub hit the bottom. I'm tightening the line, and I'm just giving it one turn of the reel, letting the lure come up a small bit, and then it's falling down, up again, falling down, and the perch are just going to take it on the drop, or they'll take it on the, the second they see it down near the bottom, the perch will come over and investigate with their mouths, and you're pulling them into the corner of the mouths, and you're, you're setting the hooks. So we're going to stay fishing away, and um, see if we can get a few more. Now, so just to mix up the content, just so it's not repetitive, I have the BFS rod there, I'm going to stick with the chub weight, but Evan has a tub of worms with him, so I've stolen a worm off him. I'm going to put the, the real worm onto the chub weight. I'm going to fish it jet, vertically just down the side of the wall, just to see if we can pick up a uh, perch on the BFS with the real worm. Just treading them onto the, to the chub weight hook. That's what I'm going to be using, just fishing it vertically down the side of the walls, lads. Um, just to see if we can pick up a bigger perch on the real worm. Fingers crossed now we do. Right, so all I'm doing is lowering it down the side of the wall. The perch seem to be stuck to the wall at the minute. Um, there's no bait fish in, the min in, in between the key at the minute. So all the perch are doing is hugging structure. So we're going to see if we can pick up one or two more. No, just landed on the bottom. Just going to hold on to it and see, feel up for the bites and see what we can find. Bice. Okay guys, we're getting a bite on the worm on the Cheb rig. Yeah, have him on the BFS. Yes. On the worm. <laughs> I prefer to use the lures, but we said we'd mix up the content a small bit. Stick on a worm. Just so it's not repetitive. Oh, oh here he is. Why oh, small guy? He's after spiking me pretty good there. Drop him back. That's what he took. Very simple. Size uh, six hook on a three gram jag ch chub wig with the worm. Simple as you like. Very easy to catch these using this method. So we'll see if we can get one or two more before we go home. There's a fish, guys. No. Lovely fish, I'm going to show you. Just hook the worm on the chip. Corner them out. Oh. There he is there. Little wriggly guy. Shows your spike. Little beauty. Drop him back. So it just goes to show how easy it is to pick up the perch. Um, when you're using any bit of a bait, um, worms are obviously the best you can use. Um, they look really good on a chub rig. That's what your lures are trying to imitate anyway, a worm. So that's literally the real thing you're going to be using. You don't even need to really cover the hook. They'll take it like that. And I'm just fishing down the side of the walls. And it's working. So let's see, maybe we'll get one or two more. Yeah, bites. Yeah, fish on. That's a nice one there. Whoa. Lovely stuff. Bring it a bit closer, you can see me. There it is. <laughs> really light colour, um, kind of sandy colour. You can see him there. They're all kind of chubby perch. They're not long, but they're, they're fat. You know. He's light coloured. He must have been over a sandy bottom. So we'll drop him back. Every time I go for the phone. Yeah. 
Yes, fish on. Yes. Oh. The camera looking. There it is. And at an average size of it today. Look how look how fat he is for a small perch. It's crazy. They don't have the length, but they have the girth. <laughs> See you there, buddy. Now, well, guys, that is it for the first DFS session on the channel. Really enjoyed using the new rod. I'm finished with a good few perch. I'm catching them on the Supercontinent uh, five centimeter shad. That's from AliExpress as well. Um, for our finish, we ended up using some of the worms that Evan had and on the Cheb rig and we were catching them as well. This is the 0 0.3 to 3 gram rod. I'm really, really good fun. I'm really good fun. I can't actually say how much fun it was until we get a, a proper big size fish, but I'm even just handling the small fish. It was super good fun. I'm, it's a light as a feather. The only thing is the casting takes a small get getting used to. I'm lucky I had used a lot of bait casters for pike in the past, so I was a bit used to it. But still, you have to do a special like underhand cast when you're flicking it out at any bit of a distance. But I'm, it's all doable. It takes a bit of practice, but it's a, it's a fun way to fish. So that's the first video using this rod on the channel. I'll be using it a lot more when the trout season opens. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Drop a comment, guys. I'm, I'll reply to all the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you out here next time.